what's up my queens and my kings i am back with another one for y'all how y'all doing this wonderful lovely evening this is your girl queen if you want a red which is deep house of queens tv and for those who are here for the first time welcome and to my family welcome back go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell button so you get all of my content run the fuck out the like button Run it up. Leave a comment if you like so we can get a conversation popping. Other than that, let's get into it. I know some of you guys have heard about Portia and Dennis. Portia, um, she been making an ass out of herself lately. On her own television show. Yes, the fuck she have. She thought that she was a princess of Housewives of Atlanta. Everybody thought she had like this little facade going on. She was going to have her own show like Don't Be Tardy from the Party. But she's making an ass out of herself and she don't care who she involved in making an ass out of. She want to sit up here and, and, and throw these digs and shots and her family throw digs and shots at Dennis and he's supposed to sit back and, and watch the shit play out. Hell to the nah. Because the Dennis probably was on Housewives of Atlanta, so he know all the ins and outs. The new people don't really know what's going on because they haven't filmed before. But a person that's a, like a veteran like Portia, she know the ins and outs of filming. And Dennis knows a little bit too, and so do his mother. Okay, so she know the 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 film. I think the season, the episode's gonna come up Wednesday or the one. I mean not Wednesday, but Sunday or the one that just aired this past prior Wednesday. I didn't watch it. I stopped watching it. Because I was doing commentary on it. And then, you know, I guess it got to whoever it got to me by me being a small fucking blogger, YouTuber, content creator, whatever you want to call it, journalist. I guess it made it to, to the right people that need to see it, y'all. It made it to the right people that need to see it. I done made like four videos, right? The first two, nothing. And I still go on it. It's still nothing. But the last two, oh, it wasn't no music in it. It was the same shit off of Porsche's, um, her little show. Portia Family Values, they copyright claimed it. So yeah, I guess I was making big noise up in, in on, on that on that um, film on that content. Cause if I wasn't, then how come they copyrighted and it's the same content I was doing prior to the two prior videos? But anyways, the show that's gonna come up Wednesday or the prior. I mean, I keep, why the fuck I keep saying Wednesday? Why the fuck I keep saying Wednesday? But anyways, the prior one that's coming up um Sunday or the um, or the one that was previous aired. I didn't watch it. I stopped watching say copyright my shit. I guess he said something about her parenting. And so since she don't have the producers in her back pocket like she thought she was gonna do, she tried to get ahead of the story. And so she wanna go on her blog and say all this kind of stuff. And one thing that stuck out is Portia called Dennis a deadbeat, y'all. She called him a deadbeat. And what we have here, the definition of a deadbeat dad. A father who owes money to his former wife to help raise their children, but does not pay it. That doesn't sound like Dennis, y'all. That don't sound like Dennis at all. And you know what? I may be jumping the gun. It may not. I don't know. But... I think it's very disrespectful for Portia to say that she's a single mother. Because she's not a single mother. You remember when she said she was homeless? But when her and Cordell broke up, he gave her, it was agreement into that divorce um, decree, that he gave her the house. But then she sold it. And so she went to go, and she also had her, um, her own little small condo that she had while she was in college, I believe. But she moved in with her mother and she moved into the, um, the master suite. So... If y'all, like, read Portia book, that's what she said in her book that she was homeless. Which, she never been homeless. She never stayed on the street. She never went to people's houses, sleep on their couch or anything like that. Or slept in her car. So, when she said she was homeless, that was some fucked up shit. Because, you know, you have people out here that are really homeless. That really don't have uh, someone's couch that they can sleep on. They don't have a friend house that they can, you know, let me sleep for a couple of nights. They are actually, literally, sleeping on a cold-ass pavement. Even though they have shelters out here. But some of these shelters ain't about shit. 
so when she said that she was homeless, she was disrespectful as fuck. Because she don't know for a f- And so this was back in June 22nd of 2021. Portia Whitman opens up about what kind of dad Dennis McKinley is to PJ. The Warehouse of Atlanta mom shouted out her ex as well as his mom for being such an important people in her daughter's life. And that's a picture of them or whatever. They look so pretty. And stuff like that. She knows she gave him a, a little tribute out, but it was after Father's Day because he said that her phone was damaged to the water, you know. So she, the post came late, but it came. So she's wanting everybody to know that, you know, she was not saying, oh, this is about Dennis um, on Father's Day, you know, because her phone was damaged. So that's why she didn't post it on Father's Day. So she wanted everybody to know, know that. And I guess they called her Pooh Bear and stuff like that. And so, you know. Mm. And that's Dennis when she was born with Pilar. Unconditional love is different. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to work with and celebrate. Your relationship with Pooh Bear is so beautiful. Pilar is a true daddy's girl, and I love it. Family forever. With the heart and the print emoji. Late post foam was water damaged. Like I just said. And that's on her dad. Instagram page. And she also want to praise um, Dennis' mom, Miss Gina. For, you know, also being in her life. And, you know, playing her grandma duties and stuff like that. And that's them together when she was, um, you know, I don't know how old she was in this picture. But, you know, it's a picture of Miss Gina and... Pilar PJ on Porsche's Instagram page. Happy birthday week, Mama Gina. We love you. PJ is so blessed to have not one but two amazing grandmothers who love her, who love and take such good care of her. At a blessing to you too. So when Portia wanna jump her ass up here. And want to say that Dennis is a deadbeat father and he don't pay child support. It ain't because Dennis don't pay child support, y'all. It's because that's the agreement that they had came upon. Because, hold on. Okay, it's Portia. Um, wrote this on her um, Instagram page. I believe it was her Instagram page. And um, she was posting and posting because she was in her feelings, I, best, I guess, about what Dennis had mentioned on the um, the show, Portia Family Values. And so she was like, um, hey, a scene I just shot with Dennis about a week ago. It was awful. I don't know if they were aired or not. But I have to put my foot down when it comes to attacking me, a single mom. So you a single mom, girl? Oh, really? Really? Really, really. So Portia want to play with people's intelligence and play on their motherfucking head top. And she want to sit up and acting like um, Dennis, all he do is um, pay for her daycare. He just act like Dennis is the worst fucking father that she ever known. And you, and you, and you, you're gonna love me. She must, when she was like going off and, and talking about how he don't do this and do that and all he paid for this, she must have a flashback about her daddy. Because then she say that her daddy left her mama. For, for for Lawrence, mama, so you mean you telling me your daddy was a, a nothing ass nigga? Your daddy was a, a, a shitty ass nigga, a deadbeat daddy. Even in your book, how you said that he used to leave you in a car while he go see Lawrence, mama for hours and hours? Yeah, that's what you said in your book. So I think when she was going on with this shit, she was really deflecting on her on her on her daddy. And she was just deflecting and saying that I'ma talk about Dennis, but I'm really talking about my, about my nothing ass nigga daddy. 
That's what she was doing, y'all. That's that's what I think she was doing. She wasn't really mad at Dennis, y'all. She was having a flashback about her nuts and shit ass daddy. So this is what she gonna say. She said, a single parent. A single parent is a person who lives with a child or children and who does not have a spouse or live in partner. Reason for becoming a single parent including divorce, breakup, abandonment, domestic violence, the R word, death of the other parent, childbirth by a single person or single person adoption. A single parent family is a family with children that is headed by a single parent. So that's what she wanted to think parent is. And so, and I also, like I said, I think it's disrespectful for Portia to sit up here and say that she's a, um, a single parent and Dennis doesn't do nothing for um, PJ. And I don't want to sit up here and, you know, talk about people, um, parenting and a relationship because that's not my fucking business and um but i'm doing my fucking job as a content creator i'm giving my fucking opinion on a topic that's in hand that's popular for this fucking week and i am giving y'all commentary on it so you know like i said some topics that i stir away from and some topics i'll just go in on but so i choose to do this one because like i said um i was doing commentary on um portrait families um matters or whatever you want to call it. And they copyright my shit, so. Because they knew to fucking glow up. They knew to glow up. You know? Because they didn't do it on the first two. So why y'all want to do it on the, the last two? It wasn't nothing different. There was not no music playing or anything. There was no violence. It didn't go against um, community guidelines. So, you know, they they recognized it. They recognized the glow up from House of Queens TV. Yes, Queens. Yes, Kings. They recognize it. So, like I said, for her to sit up and say that she's a single mother and um, Dennis is a deadbeat, she's disrespectful because there are women and fathers out there that are really single parent. They don't get no type of assistance only from maybe welfare, food stamps, and shit like that. But, like, um, child care and all that shit, they got to pay it out of their insurance or they got to pay it out of pocket. And we know for a fact that Portia get help from her mother, Miss Diane. She get help from Miss Gina. And she get help from Dennis. And so is she entwined with Simon Shrek looking ass? She's intertwining with Shrek looking ass. That's her fiance. And you make gonna make that commitment with this man so y'all can have a union and he gonna potential to be PJ's stepfather. Am I correct? Stay with me, church, stay with me. When they make that union to God and and come as one, they're gonna be husband and wife and he gonna play that role of being PJ's stepfather. And I don't I don't know if if they um Stand together because Portia, remember y'all, y'all remember y'all remember when Portia was cooking for um, she was trying to make an idea in breakfast, and he came over. It was I don't know what time it was, but I think it was early in the morning. I'm not my sure, but y'all don't stay together. Y'all feel y'all don't stay together. What, I don't know what's going on. As I said, it was a little shit and shade and mm, some bullshit. But this is what it is. Are you a single mom if you have a boyfriend? In other places, you're considered single until you have been residing with your partner for more than two years. Regardless of the circumstances, if you receive financial, emotional, and physical parenting support from your partner, then you are no longer a single mom. Mom. That's what I say mom over there in, um, in Britain and all these other kinds of mom. But she been with him like a year and so it ain't been two years but you can't say you a single mama Portia when you 
engaged to be married to a man. That man's supposed to take on, and he said out of his mouth, I'm going to take care of that one. If anything happened to that one, they, they better watch out for me because I'm, I'm coming in full force. That's what he said. So he already put his stamp on it, and he said, but not saying it, but saying it, that he is PJ's stepfather. So, how are you going to say that you are a single mama, Portia? You dead ass wrong for that shit, girl. And you know you fucking wrong. Now, like, uh, um, what I got to do with it? Now, you know you need your ass whooped. <laughs> and for this one right here, y'all see that down there where it says Dennis McCleanley? Reality. TV personality entrepreneur net worth two million dollars. Yeah, they said his exact net worth is he worth ten million dollars so far with his combined with the combination of an entrepreneur and a reality TV star. Everybody know him as a hot dog man. So he got a race trainer. He do um work with celebrity or celebrate. And many more. But Fu Ching. Where the fuck that is. But he worth 10 million. But it ain't how much money you got. Because I know it's a lot of motherfucking rich niggas out here too. That's a nothing ass nigga. And a shitty ass father. And a, a terrible ass husband. That's the size of the point I'm trying to make. I'm just trying to make it seem like you know. I ain't going to take it for dinner. Because I don't know the motherfucker. But from what we seen right now. And we've seen both. Far best far of what we've been seeing, the relationship he have with his daughter, we know for a fact that that nigga's not no fucking deadbeat ass daddy. He went to one of the stores on on um Porsche's Family on Matters, so what do you want to call it? He bought that girl anything that she asked for, so we know that he spoils that girl. He that's his only child. Whatever the fuck that um. Dennis done said about your motherfucking ass, it struck a damn nerve. So you want to try to get ahead of the PR and call this nigga this and that and third. Because you and your motherfucking parent, because him and your sister is outshining your punk ass on your own fucking show. I like that picture right there, y'all. They made a good couple and she gonna say that, um, by him passing out fake Rolexes. Yeah, he passed out fake Rolexes because you was one of the bitches that got one. Because it wasn't what it was supposed to be. When y'all hooked up, y'all was doing y'all little thuggy thuggy. Fucky fucky sneaky link. So he know the bitches that that's gonna be what they gonna be. He ain't finna spend that much money on a hoe. That's what you was so um, you was a hoe. Something he can go tag team on sometimes. But you, 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 you slid in there on the cool, you know, you was doing all that. You was giving it to him, riding and gliding and swallowing. <clears throat> and you got pregnant. And that was the set up without being set up. They do make a little kick up. I can't, that picture right there, that picture is so fucking pretty, y'all. Something that Simon ain't going to get with Portia. And I can't wait to... I, I don't want to say that. I don't want to put that out there. Because we don't know what it is, but we know what it ain't. We know what, what the fuck it ain't. But it ain't going to never be organic and authentic like she had it when she was with Dennis. When she got pregnant. You know, the little pillow talking and shit like that. You know, you know, you know. But it ain't never going to be no more. No more. With Simon and, 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 and Portia, they ain't going to get this. Look at that. Look how happy she is. Look how happy. Look, she's showing all them teeth, them pearly gates. Look at them right here. They, them, that is not a forceful smell. And you can see when she with, with Simon, Shrek ass. She ain't, she, she ain't happy.
but she gotta make him feel like he that nigga, you know, and, and you know, she gotta try to throw her baby daddy under the bus, without throwing him under the bus, but he understand the Simon, you know, this is TV, so, you know, we don't know what they plan on behind the scenes, but they trying to play in our face, so, she mad mad though. But one thing she can't say, but she trying to, you know, she can't control him, so she want to control the public opinion of him. So she want to make him seem like he a dog ass nigga, he an ain't shit nigga. But you really talking about your motherfucking daddy and the nigga that you with now, Simon? Because we know that he ain't a nothing ass daddy, a nothing ass nigga, a nothing ass bitch. And we know that your daddy is the same thing, because that's what you told us that your daddy left your mama. For long as mama. So why are you trying to put your fucking demons on Dennis? Because the niggas that you done ran across ain't nothing shit ass daddies. And ain't nothing shit ass niggas. And you want Dennis to be that, them same niggas. Don't you push it. Get your mouth off that. Get your mouth off that portion. You done pissed off. You done pissed off the House of Queens TV. But I just want to sit up here and give y'all this commentary about Portia and the nothing ass niggas that be running in and out of her fucking life in her bed. And she wanted to fuck that shit on Dennis. We know where he got his money from and he get his money from. Where do Simon get his money from, Portia? Can you say scammerous? You better... All this shit that you done did and what you better trail lightly because when that shit come out in the forefront, your ass gonna be in a mix of it too. And and, and I don't wanna put that shit out there because you we 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 like you. We don't love you yet, but we like you. We love Dennis and Lauren. Cause they look better on this on your show than you do on your own shit. She she yeah. But let me get up out of here. I got to go. But I thank y'all for watching your girl Quincy One A Ray was gonna do House of Queen TV. And go ahead and um, support this black owned business. All right, <laughs> love yourself and love who you with and love the fuck who love you. Watch your twelve, free six in your mind at all fucking time. And now I'm out this B I bitch, B I bitch. <laughs> Bye, you guys.